hello and welcome back so in a few videos we will just talk about uh, the javascript and all the basic javascript stuff and here we are just going to talk about the, the do while loop the infinite loop condition and the break and continue and the switch case which we see uh, in our code so consider this is an example that in the aquarium we have the pop limit is equal to 10 and now using this while loop what we are doing we are just keep checking that uh, if the number of fishes are less than the pop limit then you can add more fish to the aquarium right so this is the basic chunk of javascript code which we have written to understand so actually the pop limit is already defined so i need to change it pop limit one okay so this is the example of while loop similarly uh, if you wanted to keep it as an infinite loop then what you can do you can just make it true what it is doing it, it will keep executing this for an infinite number of times similarly that we have seen in the case of for loop once you if the condition is going to be true forever then it is going to be an infinite loop in the javascript so this is the while loop similarly what you can do you can also write a do while loop in the same fashion so in that case whatever the code you have written here you will do uh, the increment in the fish in this code so the do while loop will execute at least once so we can see if fish is zero then it will increase it and uh, it will execute this if fish are less than the pop limit right so so this is the do while loop uh, if the condition is true then uh, you can execute your instructions here do this and check the condition so do while loop actually first execute the instructions then it check the condition okay similarly we have like a switch switch case is the basic which we can do is uh, so how to write a switch case in the switch you will pass the argument and here you will define the case so this is same as we write in any other programming language here we will put case 1 if x is 1 then do your task and just break it now if case is 2 if case is 2 if value of x is 2 then do this and then break so in case uh, how it is different from others is it's it's a be better way of doing the if else loop so you are not executing the all the instructions but we are checking if x is 1 then do execute this and exit if x is 2 execute this and exit here we are not right executing the if else if else if else if kind of a loop so if you have a lot of else if loop then use the switch instead of using this uh, else if loop and there is a default case also if nothing matches then this will execute if you are passing some value which is not there then what will happen it will execute the default instructions which are placed here so these are just a basic instruct or construct of uh, uh, the programming 